Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank the Miami-Dade County Public School Board for the opportunity to speak here today and the fellow courageous parents that have stood up here today to fight for our children. My name is Ray Alonzo, and I am the dad of two elementary age boys in District 4. To preface what I'm about to say, I would like to share an anecdote with you. As a parent, I often get asked by new or soon-to-be parents for advice. My reply always surprises them. Do not blindly take advice from anyone, not your parents, not your grandparents, not your aunts or uncles, heck, not even doctors. I've come, to, I've come to learn that a mother's intuition is a force to be reckoned with. The only people whose opinions matter in parenting are that of the parents. The only ones who have any say in their child's upbringing is that of the parents. And to you, MDCPS school board members, I implore you to heed that advice. As recently, you have taken it upon yourselves to determine what is best for my children, our children. And that is not something I take very lightly. I stand before you today to express my disgust towards decisions you have made regarding masks and social distancing in school. Last year when we were hit with COVID, it was a mad scramble to put things into place, all based on fear and emotion. Nothing was properly thought out, yet everything was quickly implemented, seemingly overnight. Two weeks to slow the spread and flatten the curve, they said, yet here we are more than a year later and still no concrete evidence as that masks actually are working has been produced. Just pure opinion, speculation. Furthermore, the least vulnerable, our kids, are still mass distanced and by extension deprived of a time in their childhood they will never get back. All because you decided what was best for them. You say you consulted with health experts. Which health experts exactly? Because there are health experts on both ends of this argument, yet you only listen to one side, the side that feeds your narrative. It is very easy to make decisions when you're in an echo chamber and don't have much opposition. Did you ever think of consulting the parents? No, of course Sir not. Your time is up, I'll let you wrap it up. I have not had three minutes. Sir, your time is up. It's three minutes. That, that. I'm only telling you what the light is. There's no light in there. But instead of, instead of. Right. Never started. It never started. I've taken the time to educate myself by speaking with those directly involved in schools on a daily basis, and as you have are encouraged to do so, I have followed the science. That science has led me to learn of the multiple things children are experiencing, which have all been discussed here, and I'm not going to re reiterate them. While on the topic of education, I would like to remind all of you, with the exception of the superintendent, that you are all elected officials. You aren't leaders. You're public servants. You're here to serve, to answer to, and elected by we, the people. As easily as we elected you, we can very easily remove you. I had a conversation with a young man the other day, and his lack of basic civics astounded me. But I don't blame him. I blame the educational system that has failed him. A school system where it's more focused on teaching kids the proper use of pronouns when addressing others, handing out participation trophies, implementing critical race theory, cr creating ludicrous equity committees, and injecting the cancer that is cultural Marxism into our curricula, rather than teaching them that, how great this, this country actually operates. Instead of creating employable, upstanding citizens, you're creating entitled social justice warriors. Perhaps this is all by design as a misinformed populace is exponentially easier to govern. I'm not entirely confident that all of you understand how exactly a constitutional republic works, and it should be unfair to expect that young men to do so. At some point, you stopped having respect for parents and, that we and what we believe is our best for our own children. We elected you to have oversight of their education and nothing more. With your track record of poor decisions, I'll be damned if I allow you to have any more say in anything beyond my, ch my children's education. Fellow parents, we must ask ourselves, if we really Madam have- Chair, Madam Chair, your time is up. Time he is gave up. you the additional minute. Okay, can I no, say my- No, 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 your time is up. Can your I say Your time my... is up. The Do you attorney, not like what I'm saying? Is that the problem? The no, I don't have a problem with what you're saying. I, the ta Does the time is up. Does anyone have a problem with The time is up. The attorney opined, and I'm going to say this on behalf of my chair, because I started the public hearing, there was a decorum statement that was made. The language was out of line with the decorum statement that was made. I did not interrupt you until you went uh, uh, outside of that line. Okay. So your time was up, number one, and the statement that was ra raised by the attorney about how we proceed in a public setting, it's not about the issue, it's about the manner in which you're going to deliver it. So that language would not be suffered by this board. So your time was up, and your language was out of line. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry I hurt your frail egos.